Israel launched a bombardment of the West Bank, where uh, they have illegally occupied it for decades. Where there are more Palestinians they want to cleanse. They at least nine people have been killed uh, by Israel in the West Bank. Over three million people are there under military occupation by Israel. But um, over the past uh, decades, more and more Israeli settlers have taken Palestinian land in the West Bank. And the end goal is for complete annexation of, uh, of the West Bank and ethnic cleansing of the West Bank. Uh, this is illegal under international law, but the fact that now they're militarily escalating there is one, I think, an attempt to draw Hezbollah in because it's it's closer uh, to Lebanon and because this is such a provocation and Iran has not responded to uh, Israel assassinating Haniya in Tehran, the capital. They're, they're desperately trying to widen this so that the United States is drawn in and that basically it creates a quagmire for whoever wins the election in the fall. Um, and then it also is a way to... Uh, dr- when they dr- when they create tensions uh, in the region, and if there's a response, then they get to be the vic- the victim again, which is the propaganda uh, that it serves here in the United States, where they can be like Israel's under a threat, threat, always under attack from these unfriendly neighbors. I mean, what could they be upset about? Could they be trying to say like, hey, you can't do a genocide of people in this region? without uh, impunity. I mean, that's what the resistance forces, honestly, uh, are trying to convey. Um, So with that context, uh, Channel 4 News in the UK did this this, uh, profile of uh, Israeli settlers in the West Bank and the people that want to build more settlements there. Now, this one settler, this woman at the end, is like whiter than I am, and that's saying a lot. Um, but we'll start here with some of the context. Uh, this is what the settlers think of um, the West Bank and what they see as uh, the future in Ga- the future in Gaza. As and we're you're paying saying. for it, right? We're in a small tent site, not far from the border with Gaza. It might look like a bohemian summer camp, complete with family-friendly activities. But this is an unabashed radical fringe, backed ideologically by senior far-right members of government that believes Gaza is Jewish land. On Yosef's neck, a tattoo of a banned extremist group. For him, the death and destruction wrought in Gaza represents an opportunity to take it over. I sleep at night without a sleeping bag, without a tent, in these rough conditions. We understand that with all the heat and the flies, when we enter Gaza with God's help, it will be much more different in terms of conditions. So here it is just a small preparation. In the camp, the orange color of the movement flies high. Some soldiers fighting in Gaza have posted photos online with the flag we pay too. For that? Though Israel's leadership insists there's no prospect of re-establishing the settlements. Ariel believes it will happen and hopes to be amongst the first to move to Gaza. She came to Israel seven years ago from Texas. The idea of you coming from America to here, Indigenous. settling in, potentially in Gaza, kicking Palestinians out, a lot of people would see that as settler colonialism. It's not really um, colonialism, it's a return. Um, my grandparents were kicked out of Israel by um, Arabs who were trying to establish a Palestinian state and they, they had to leave for their survival and I'm just coming back and fulfilling their dream. Uh, that would be the first thing. The second thing is, I think that, <laughs> and I know this is a minority view, I think colonialism gets a bad rap. Like, genocide is bad, but colonizing places that are genocidal and they have bad ideology, it's good to come in Pause and it. correct their views. What do you think? So can we colonize Israel then? Because they are genocidal and have bad ideologies. Um, well, it's, you know... Remember the old days when we were talking about new atheism and how Sam Harris and those folks would talk about 
Islam as the mother load of bad ideas. And it's, it's not racism when you're talking about their ideas. No, right? I mean, Sam Harris, he's like, yeah, I, I, to his credit, I guess, uh, said that prior to October 7th that the settlers should have been dragged out by their beards. Um, because I think intuitively he understood that force is the way to frankly deal with these people. Um, yes. State, and uh, I would say like a state ma um, backed force, which says, hey, you can't do this anymore. But guess what? That state is Israel, and it's telling them, we do want you to be doing that. We actually like what you're doing right now. And like this, fr this I, I gotta say, like, I don't buy this fringe stuff. I don't buy that it's just a few far right Israeli ministers. This is Israeli society. Uh, well, it's what I meant, what I was what I was trying to intimate is just like it is just racism, right? Like at the end of the day, what basically she's saying, our ideology is better because of my like the colonialism is better because might meets right. Like Palestinians can't do colonialism. Why? Why? Because they are not backed by a colonial power. Yeah, I mean, she literally said genocide is bad, but she kind of said it with a wink and a nod, right? Genocide is yeah, bad, but not the best interview I've ever seen. That one. Yeah, no, we can play a little bit more, I guess. Yeah. Genocidal, and they have bad ideology. It's good to come in and correct their. You have bad ideology. Things should happen to the people who are already in Gaza. So I think that there's a couple of possibilities. Um, the one that. I think is the most realistic is we got to help ask other countries for help. I know that Spain was willing to take a couple of million. I know Russia said they would take a couple of thousand. To a lot of people that would sound like you're advocating for ethnic cleansing. Um, I don't think so because Palestinian isn't an ethnicity. It's an ideology and it's an ideology that says that they want Jews dead. And so we want them as far away from Jews as possible. So that's that. That's also fairly standard. Jeez. Like the editors of America's newspapers and uh, cable channels, pretty much agree with that. Frankly, how is it colonialism yeah. then? If you're colonizing an ideology, like colonialism was always about stealing people's land, but it, it's not like Native American people or Indigenous Americans were not like. And it, you wouldn't say that now. I mean, with there the, was resistance in, in to the colonization, of, you know, and and that doesn't justify the subsequent genocide. Right, with the safety of history, right? Like you can, people would identify it as that. But now, when they want to do the colonizing, well, they're not a real people. It's an ideology, which is so like Miriam Adelson when she was giving her speech at that Trump event was talking about how her parents came to Palestine before it was Israel. So they know it was a place, like intrinsically, right? But they can The Jerusalem Post was called the Palestine Post before they renamed it because they're embarrassed about that part of it. Right. Um, uh, R.M. Brown, uh, uh, any thoughts on that insanity? <laughs> I mean, I think that one speaks for itself. The whoa, that's, yeah, that was intense. Any Jeez. drops, uh, any drop potential from the Israeli settler community? <laughs> I think... <laughs> That's a tough one to make a drop right there. Uh, but maybe I could take this in some direction. I, I was talking to somebody recently where they went on a date with a, uh, it was a, a girl went on a date, a date with a guy and somehow it came up. Israel Palestine came up and he was like, uh, I need to look into it more or something like that. And, and you was see stuff like this. <laughs> he was wearing a beanie. He had a skateboard. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. You see stuff like this and it's like, I, I, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard not to, I feel like it's hard not to understand at this point. Yep, exactly. Um, Almost if there, like there was a conspiracy to not help people understand. Yeah. Ex yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, all right, guys, uh, we will uh, read some IMs and then get out of here. RM Brown, uh, we'll, we'll plug all of your wonderful stuff at the end, but let's just, uh, get through some of our lovely viewers comments uh bobby sue i don't appreciate when blonde women say stupid things stop giving us a bad rap <laughs> um uh patrick texas Red too she's making texas look i bad. know Come on. i know Come on. well i mean that's just where she was her real home is exactly. uh, is there i mean th that's also the aesthetic of it it's like this like homesteading fantasy too right yep it's so creepy it's mm -hmm. like, you know, we're returning to nature or to our roots or something, but 
as we do the most unspeakable crimes to get there. And it's always an imagined past. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.